flipping the script with our special Black History Month series. And today we have figure skater Elaj Balde with us to talk about modernizing and diversifying the culture of a sport. Thank you so much for being here with us, Elaj. You have been a force in the world of figure skating for many years now. So I want to know, what's it like to be one of the only black men in figure skating? It's just something we're, we don't see a lot. Yeah, it's something that, like you said, we don't see a lot. Growing up, um, I struggled a lot because of the lack of representation. Um, I didn't feel like I could be myself and be authentic because I didn't have that example in front of me. And so I really um, tried to fit a mold that wasn't fully what I wanted to be on the ice. And um, and I struggled with that for, for, for many years. But now, you know, being able to um, be in the inspiration for the next generation of black skaters uh, around the world, um, it's something I hold dear to my heart. It takes a lot of courage to kind of step into that space and just be who you are. And I think that it's incredible that you've done that. And by doing that, you're changing the face of sport when it comes to figure skating. Like, how does that feel? It's incredible. It's truly an honor to be able to be one of the faces of change in figure skating. But at the same time, it can be heavy. Um, you know, you out of all people would know that, you know, being one of the people that wants to change the sport and being one of the only black people to be able to do that um, is something that can be heavy. But again, it allows for this opportunity to break that mold and to step into something that can allow so many more people to see themselves um, in something that they might not have before. So there are so many uh, girls and boys and non-binary people across the country that are going to watch you and they're going to say, oh, this is for me as well. This is a sport for me. I'm a person of color. I can do this. What else do you think needs to change in order to welcome more people of color into the sport? I think the culture of figure skating needs to change a little bit and educating themselves on what it is like to see someone skating authentically, even though it looks different from what we're used to seeing in the mold of figure skating. And then another thing I think is accessibility. That's one of the biggest issues, whether it's funding, resources, or access to rink. Um, figure skating is a really expensive sport, and rinks are usually in communities that, um, that have the funds to have rinks, whereas underserved communities sometimes don't have uh, those rinks. And so access to rinks is, is one of the biggest issues I'm seeing. Absolutely. And I would say the same for hockey because I'm a hockey parent and the price is astronomical. I can't imagine how folks uh, with less resources and less access would ever get involved. So you're actually trying to change the situation yourself. What are you doing to bring forth change? Well, my wife and I, we launched the uh, Skate Global Foundation in November. And essentially, the Skate Global Foundation is built under three pillars. The first one is equity, diversity, and inclusion. The second one is mental health. And the third one is climate change. And every project that we do falls under one of these pillars. And the first one was in partnership with Ellis Dawn. And we committed to upgrading and building ranks in other served communities across Canada and hopefully taking that into the U.S. and around the world. Um, but again, like we talked about it, or we talked about earlier, underserved communities don't have opportunities to skate for free. And that's what we want to bring with the Skate Global Foundation. Okay, so now your videos are like, they are lit, they're all over Instagram, they're fantastic. <laughs> Let's talk about how you're driving change through these diverse wild ice videos. They look so cool. Well, thank you for that. And, you know, for me, the most important thing is continuing to find who I am as a human being so that I can share that with the world. That authenticity that I'm able to skate with allows people to connect with something that's much deeper than just figure skating. And you mix that with the beauty that we have in Canada, the nature that we have in Canada, being able to skate on these beautiful lakes with the mountains. I think the combination of that can inspire people to believe in their dreams and to know that if there isn't a path that exists for them, that they can carve it themselves. And I want to inspire the next generation of Black, Indigenous, and people of color to believe in themselves in that way. Before I let you go, my friend, I want to know about your parents. Like, I want to know, were they super supportive? Did you have to fight them in order to find your place in this sport where you weren't really represented? Like, how was that relationship? My parents were the biggest factor in me still being here now. My mom had a relentless belief in my abilities and my father, you know, has spent his whole life working to help afford uh, figure skating for me. And so, 
without my parents, I wouldn't be here. And so I owe everything that I'm experiencing now to them, and I'm deeply grateful for it. Oh, that just gave me shivers. Yay, parents. Yay. I love to see that. I love to hear that. Thank you so much, Elaj. That was so good. Thank you for speaking with us about your journey and diversifying the sport of figure skating. We love that you continue to advocate for change. It is so important. So keep doing your thing. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.